pretty frequently people say to me, Alston, you're always showing us what other people are doing, but you never show us what you're doing. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to show you a new business venture that I am testing out. I'm going to show you my sales page. I'm going to tell you about my traffic methods. I'm going to give you everything that I am going to do to make 10K per month in a new business. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. So as I mentioned, people say all the time, you don't share what you're actually doing. And I do that for a few reasons. Part of it is because there's a lot of things that I'm testing. And forgive me, I've been yelling every day essentially for about two weeks. I coach on two baseball, uh, I coach a baseball team, I coach a basketball team. Each one of those meet two days a week. And so basically... I'm yelling, my voice sounds weird, it is what it is. Anyway, I hear all the time, you tell us what's working or what isn't working for other people, you don't share what you're doing. So I decided in this video, I'm gonna pull back the curtain and I'm going to let you see everything that I'm doing to make 10K per week and something that I am testing out. Before we continue on, I do wanna say that I think that you should be testing things. You don't know if it works. You won't know if it will work until you test it out. Too often, I see that people want a proven, a proven guaranteed 3K per month or 5K per month. And you won't get that until you test it out. It's kind of that weird, what comes first, the chicken or the egg, but you won't know if something works for you until you test it. I can lay out the groundwork, I can tell you exactly what I'm doing step by step, but until you actually try it yourself, you won't know that it works. Again, like I said, I, I understand the concern and the frustration. All too often, people are hesitant to get going. They have, I don't know, imposter syndrome, or they're afraid that they might fail, but if you're not taking action and at least testing some of this stuff out, you are guaranteed to fail. You're guaranteed to be stuck and frustrated and annoyed. Anyway, um, off my off my little soapbox or diatribe, whatever you want to call it. My plan is to make 10K per month with Microsoft Excel. It seems weird. It seems lofty. It seems like it's not possible, but I'm going to lay out my evidence, what I think is a very strong case for making 10K per month with something as boring and stupid and simple as Microsoft Excel. And the reason why I want to do this is to show you that you can make money online in boring and stupid and everyday things that people are using. And so my goal is to do exactly that. And if you want, you can hang out. It can be a monthly case study where I show you my results month to month. I can show you what I'm spending. I can I'm, I can show you what I'm earning. And it can be one of those things to show you that, yes, boring, stupid things can make money online. You don't have to teach people how to make money online. In fact, in order to make money online. So let me go ahead and lay out some evidence and some groundwork and then tell you what I'm doing step by step so that you could potentially model it with something else. First things first, I jumped over to Google and I searched how many people use Microsoft Excel worldwide? As of November 2022, an estimated 750 million people worldwide use Microsoft Excel, and that's from two years ago. Now, let me ask you this. Before we get we move forward, do you think out of 750 million people, do you think someone could make 10K per month from it? Ask yourself that. Logically, comment down below. 750 million people. Okay, let's do some quick back of the table math. If we had 750 million people, what percent of that is um, a thousand people? Okay, that's all you need. You need a thousand to probably 5,000 people, depending on what you're selling your Microsoft Excel course for. Anyway, um, another, I would say, kind of proof is if I look over at a website like Udemy or Udemy, you can see that there are 10,000 courses for Microsoft Excel. But what I want to point you to is I want to point you to this one right here. This one has over 1.4 million learners worldwide. So 
the one thing with Udemy though is most of the time people are paying like ten dollars per month or ten dollars uh, for this one course. So if you just did the math there and you divided that by, um, let's say the course has been around since 2019, you take 1.4 learners, 1.4 million learners, and divide it by two thousand, divide it by one, we'll say divide it by ten, right? That's still a lot of people every single month. So if we took 1.4 million people and divided that by 10, that comes out to 140,000 people. So let's say the course has been up for 10 years. That's still 140,000 people every single year. And if we took this number, 140,000, and we, we multiplied that by, I don't know, 999, 999, that comes out to... Uh, that comes out to $1.3 million. So again, let me ask you, uh, do you think that you can make 10K per month with the boring, stupid, old Excel? I think I can. I think I can. And that's why I'm doing this. And that's why I'm showing you uh, what my intentions are. Okay? And so what I plan on doing, knowing these numbers and knowing what's out there, what I plan on doing is I plan on running Facebook ads to this basic website. As you can see, I have a pre-launch discount where uh, right now I'm offering it for $17. I might, I think I'm going to change that to $19. I'm offering it for $19. There will be an upsell, as you can see here, for only $9. And I'm simply going to run this at at $20 per day. Now, I know there's going to be people that jump in and say, I can't afford, so I do have it at, at 19, I can't afford $20 per day running Facebook ads, and that's fine. Now, what, my, what I plan on doing is I'm going to run ads globally, so everywhere in, in the world, because this is a worldwide app. And when we think about Excel, Excel is used for both personal reasons, so people that want to learn how to budget or you know budget their finances. Corporations are using it, mom and pop shops are, are using it. So I'm gonna run it worldwide. I'm just gonna target everybody and I'm going to let people self-select. The great thing with Facebook ads is that Facebook ads is smart enough now that they know every single thing about their customers. There's so many data points that I can just run a global worldwide uh, sales campaign and Facebook is going to look at all of the data points that it has, and it's going to show this ad to only people that are interested in Microsoft Excel. Maybe they've gone to Microsoft Excel's website. Maybe they have uh, gone to a Google or uh, they've done a Google search or they've looked at a YouTube video where they've looked up more information from Microsoft Excel. In fact, what I could do is I could do a YouTube uh, ad as well. So if you see a YouTube ad for Microsoft Excel, that might be me targeting people that are interested in Microsoft Excel. Now, again, I understand there is going to be pushback where people say, Alston, I can't afford to run Facebook ads at $20 per day. The goal in the very beginning will be to uh, continue on with Facebook ads. The goal in the very beginning will do be to get one sale per day. Now, that one sale Hopefully that person will take the order bump or the upsell that is on the next page. You can see here, if they take the order bump, I will make $28 while only spending $20 per day. And so if I see that that works and that happens for a couple days in a row, I will then decide to increase my budget from 20 to 40 or 20 to 60. And hopefully I make, you know, I make $8 per day, turn that into 16 and then eventually 24. And then you can see how this is something that can explode. Now, if we did the math and we just took $10,000 and we divide that by 19, I would need approximately 526 people per month in order to meet that objective. When you factor in ads, uh, spending $20 per day, Obviously, we're probably going to need closer to 30 or maybe even 50 people per day, but that's something that I can I can scale to. Again, if we look at this, we see that 750 million people use Microsoft Excel 
do you think that you could get 500, 600 people per day? The answer is probably. Okay. Now, again, going back to what I've said a few different times, there will be a number of people that say, Alston, uh, I'm not going to spend money on ads. I can't afford it. There's no way that I'm going to do it. And that's fine. What you can do, though, is you could go over to YouTube like this. And you can type in how to do blank in Excel. Look at that. And then we simply just go through each letter of the alphabet, how to do Q, how to do a QR code in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to create that video. I'm, I'm not creating the video, but you could create the video. Then W, then E, how to do data entry jobs, how to do ranking in Excel, how to do roster in Excel. People are looking this up because they need help. Now, if you go through like YouTube or what I plan on doing also, um, <clears throat> you'll add an additional revenue stream. That additional revenue stream is the YouTube Partner Program or what I intend to do is I intend to use TikTok. What I will be doing is uploading one to two videos per day teaching people Excel. The way that I'm gonna go about it is I'm going to jump over to TikTok as you can see on my screen and I'm going to take a look at the videos that have the most views. So. How did, let's see, how many do you know? If I look at this, I'm just gonna click on this real quick. I'm going to make this exact same video, okay? I'm going to use the exact same keywords. I'm gonna use everything the exact same in order to start getting a bunch of views because we see that it worked once. I'm gonna recreate it myself. And then once I have a thousand followers, I'm going to link people to this um, to this page now so tell me what you think when you look at this you should realize that there are no excuses if you don't want to use Excel that's fine we could do the exact same thing with Canva type in Canva if we look at Canva here Canva this person has 50,000 learners and Canva is free and Excel is free and so really there should be no excuse why you can't do something like this. If you don't know how to use Canva, go out and learn how to use Canva. If you don't know how to use Excel or PowerPoint or Google Sheets, learn those things and then turn around and teach someone else. That's the name of the game. Learn how to do something and then turn around and teach someone else. You don't have to be a Excel master or a Canva master. You just have to be one or two steps ahead of the people that are behind you and you simply teach them what you know and what you've learned. Now, what I intend to do is once I start getting people in, in here, um, I'm going to look for additional ways to make money from this group. Maybe I offer some sort of community. Maybe I offer like done for you templates every single month. I am trying to think of additional ways, additional revenue streams that I could create. Now, when it comes to these templates, I'm not going to build the templates myself. What I would do is I would go over to a website like fiverr.com and I would have someone, Microsoft Excel, I would have someone build out these templates for me. So if we look, this guy right here for $10 will build out Microsoft Excel templates. So once you start having money come in, you can start outsourcing things that aren't going to cost you as much. However, you are building monthly recurring revenue on the back end. Let me know what you think. This is something that I've already started doing. Um, I will be running Facebook ads probably in the next, uh, today's Thursday, in the next few days or so, once I get a few more of these courses uploaded. Uh, one thing that I wanted to point out with this is that, oops, uh, where'd it go? One thing I wanted to point out with this is that this is a pre-launch discount. And the reason why it's a pre-launch is because I haven't built all of the courses out yet. I'm going to build probably the first five or 10, then start running ads to see if there's interest, uh, first five to 10 lessons, and then see if there's any interest. If there's interest, I'm gonna build the rest of it out. If there isn't any interest, I'm simply going to uh, pivot to something else. Um, I will still build out the course because I know that it works with Microsoft Excel. In fact, what I might do for my ads is I might create a TikTok video 
TikTok style video, vertical video, showing people how to do something in Excel and then say, hey, if you want to uh, become an expert in Excel, check out my my course. There's a pre-launch, it's only $17. In fact, what I might do is I might watch this video because we know that it worked organically. If it worked organically, it also worked with ads as well. And so I'm going to watch this video. I'm going to remake it in my own voice, my own terms, my own language, and then this will be my ad. And I might create you know three or four different variations of, of that. So look at all the videos that did very well. Excel trick to trick your boss. We know that these ads have worked. We know that these um, have worked organically. And so I'm going to create ads on these things, run them, and then hopefully make money. I'll keep you update, up to date on my progress with that. Let me know if you have any questions in the uh, comment section below. But this is something that I'm, I'm testing and trying. And if it doesn't work, I'll pivot to something else. Now that you've watched this video, uh, watch the this video next because it is a free five-hour master class on how to monetize your social media, even if you have a tiny following.